Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to official channel of Video Prague Vlogger. New series of Video Prague official guide are now available in the channel, and you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to use Video Prague Vlogger to create stunning videos from scratch. Before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Today, we are going to manage the settings in Video Prog Vlogger so that you can quickly get everything set up to your preferences when editing and exporting. The preference settings can be managed in the drop down menu here. Click it and hover to the settings to open it up. And you can also press F2. Settings are grouped under four sections. For the general settings, you have several toggling options. First up, open output folder after exporting video. This one is quite self-explanatory. If you want folder to pop up automatically after exporting, you would definitely want it to be checked. Play sound when the task is finished. When you enable this option, it will run to remind you when certain tasks are finished, such as rendering the output, extracting audio to local drive, and so on. Next, auto-save the project. Here you can set how often you want the program to automatically save the project, so that you won't be losing works upon unexpected situations, such as power failure or system crash. Well, we strongly recommend you toggle it on. Then, there is a Show Descriptions option. It is also toggled on by default. Now if you hover your mouse to a toolbar above the timeline, you shall see short description for each tool. And some even have links to a dedicated guide to help you get started quickly. Once you get well familiar with these tips, you can toggle it off. VideoProc Vlogger offers you these language options. You can go for English, Japanese, and Chinese in the simplified or traditional version. And we will definitely add more language soon. Here you can choose how often you want the software to check for updates. When a new version is available, you will be notified and can easily update to the latest version for better experiences and new features. From time to time, you might want to clear cache data to free up storage space, just like how you do with your browsers and phones. And that's when you want to click this button. Next up, folder settings. This is a place you manage all those paths and directories you want your files to go. Now, the project folder here is where you store your project. Let's say um, you consider your project as a draft. Well, it's like you can stop working on the draft this time and open it up the next time to resume editing. You can also click dots here to change your default path. But once you set it up, better keep that way for the entire project. Video files and audio files we exported generally go to output folder. And if you take snapshots, such as a freeze frame, then you'll find them in the snapshot folder. For the timeline settings, you will see the following options. Show film strip and audio waveform. When you take it, you will see a series of snapshots and audio waves on the timeline, so that you can quickly spot the position that you want to deal with. Or, for example, align the waveforms to certain positions. Well, now I'm toggling the on and off. See the differences here? Most of us would love to keep it on, unless the machine is too slow to render the thumbnails and the waveforms. And the playback priority. Well, this one deserves some explanations here. Now, in the drop down menu, you will see these options and it generally means what you want to prioritize when the playback is on that smooth. Most of us can leave it to the default settings as the program is not so demanding unless your computer is too old or no spec. So, the default settings to prioritize audio for playback guarantees that audio goes normally. For example, the commonly seen 44.1 kHz with every 44,100 sample retained. Then, for this audio drop frame option, it forces the playback to drop some frames so that video images keep up with the audio playback. 
if you choose video, then on a low spec PC, it goes frame by frame when previewing. But the audio may sound funny, like you may hear the pitch changed. Now, know that all these options are set for playback, and it won't influence the output. You can always trust the video prog vlogger for full quality video output. Then, here are some settings for the duration of photos, transitions, and effects. Photo duration is super handy when you are creating time lapse or photo slideshow videos. For instance, you want the pictures to change every 5 seconds like slides. Set a photo duration to 5 seconds. Now, when you drag and drop a group of pictures onto the timeline, every picture will last for 5 seconds. And the other two are simply how long you want the transition and effects to last by default. Note that they refer to the stock transition effects that you will find next to a media library. Now, the GPU settings. And that's one of the most important aspects you want to look into when fumbling in a video editing software. Video Proc Vlogger supports full GPU acceleration. Think about all those extra HD videos, 4K and 8K get handled smoothly when you scrub in a timeline. And there's no worry if you know nothing about the litty gritty of all this. You can click the scan hardware button to check the hardware available on your machine for encoding and decoding tasks. And the program uses GPU for rendering the tasks. For better performance, it is recommended to use the latest version of the graphic driver that are provided by the manufacturer of your hardware. Videoprog make it easy for you to check it. You can simply click Check Now here. Now, you can toggle these two options to enable hardware acceleration for video decoding and encoding. VideoProc Vlogger will fully utilize the hardware to decode and encode formats that require intensive computing resources. And you can rest assured for a smooth performance when playing back the video, scrubbing the timeline for real-time previewing, and export at full quality with high efficiency. Once you toggle on the options, they are applied instantly. You can close the setting windows and go back to your main screen and start editing your video. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about preference settings in Video Pro Vlogger. I think you've got a comprehensive understanding of it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye!